Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I will be showing you how I made this thank you page in Canva. This thank you page is what a customer will receive if they were to buy one of the Canva templates I'm selling on Etsy. This video was requested by a viewer on another video that I posted, how to sell templates on Etsy using Canva. I will have that video linked in the description. So in that how to sell Canva templates video, I created this invite template. And after I created that invite template, I created a thank you page for the customer to receive once they buy that template. Head to canva.com. In the left side panel, click on create. When this window pops up, it gives you popular and common layouts and sizes for documents. I'm going to pick the flyer in the portrait orientation. That's eight and a half by 11. If you don't see that option here, you can always type in the search bar what you would like to create. Or you can also go to the side panel and pick from different categories of documents. And also in that left side panel, you can just do custom size and enter in the dimensions for the document. So I'm going to choose the portrait orientation flyer. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the background color by clicking on the document and going up to the color picker and then choosing a color for my background. And you can choose whatever color that you want to use. And you may also want to use like any company or brand colors if you have any. So I'm going to click on add a new color. I'm going to pick this light purple color. Now what I'm going to do is add a rectangle by pressing R on my keyboard. And with that rectangle selected, I'm going to head to the upper toolbar to the color picker. I'm going to click on the light purple color that I used for the background. When you click on that color and this little icon shows up, you can click on it again and it'll allow you to edit the color. So in this example, I'm going to keep it in this purple family, but I'm going to make it a little bit darker until I get something like that. I'm going to take this rectangle and move it to the upper right hand corner. So as I'm trying to move this to the upper right hand corner, this red area appears or the danger zone. And the reason why this is coming up is most likely due to the bleed. So when you're printing certain items, you want to make sure that you're keeping important text or images outside of that bleed area. So when the item is printed and then cut down the size, you won't lose any valuable information. So this danger zone doesn't really apply to me because I'm not going to be printing this document. So I'm going to put this rectangle in the upper right hand corner. And I'm also going to make the rectangle a little bit wider because I kind of want it to cover about a third of the page until I get something that looks about that. And I'm also going to make it a little bit longer because this is the area where I'm going to put my shop or company name. So with this rectangle still selected, I'm going to hit Control D on my keyboard to duplicate it. Once this rectangle is duplicated, I'm going to move it underneath the first one and move it to the lower left hand corner. I'm going to make it a little bit taller and leave a little gap between the two rectangles like this. So now I'm going to add my text. Press T on your keyboard to bring up a text box. So in this text box is where I'm going to put, thank you for your purchase. So with this text box selected, I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate it. And I'm going to move it underneath the first text box, somewhere about here. And in this text box, I'm going to put in, click the link below to access the template. And I'm going to use this corner node to make this text a little bit smaller than the thank you for your purchase text. And now what I'm going to do is add an image of the template that the customer will be receiving. So to do that, I'm going to head back over to the invitation template that I made in Canva. And I'm going to click on share in the upper right hand corner, click on download, and I'm going to keep the file type at PNG. Under select pages, I'm going to select only page one. And after I pick the page I want to download, hit done and click download. Now back over to our thank you page. The image that you just downloaded from the template that you created, you're going to upload that back into Canva by heading to uploads in the left side panel and then clicking on upload files. So once your file is uploaded, you're going to click on it and you're gonna move it in between the text boxes that say thank you for your purchase and click the link below. And you may have to adjust the size of these things. Press C on your keyboard to bring up a circle. And then I'm going to move that circle underneath the text box that says click link below to access template. So in this circle, I'm going to put a text box that says design in Canva. And I'm going to add the template link to those words. So that way when the customer buys the product and opens this PDF and clicks on that link, it'll take them to Canva where they can edit the template for themselves. So I'm going to press T on my keyboard to bring up a text box. And I'm going to move it to the center of my circle. And I'm going to type in design in Canva and I'm going to make it bigger to fill up the circle. 
So now I have to head back to the invitation template that I created. In the upper right hand corner under share, you're going to click on template link and you're going to click on copy to copy the template link. And then you're going to head back to that thank you page. So back in this circle, that text box that says design in Canva, still selected, I'm going to click on the three dots above it and click on link. You can also do control and K on your keyboard to do that as well. And so here it says enter a link or search. And it also gives you recent documents that you can link to as well, in addition to linking to pages within this document that you're currently working on. But I'm just going to right click and click paste. And once you've pasted your link, click done. And so now up at the top, it says link added. And as you can see, it's showing you here that it's linked to the double floral border invite. And for this thank you page, you can add as much or as little as you want, as long as it gets the message across and it has that template link that your customer is going to be looking for once they purchase the template. So here's what we have so far. So now again, I'm going to hit T on my keyboard to bring up a text box. So in this text box, I'm going to put the shop name. So with that text box selected, I'm going to go to the upper toolbar to the font picker. And the font that I've been using for this is apricots. So now I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to add another text box. And this text box is going to go into the bottom rectangle. And basically what this is going to say is want to purchase more templates. You can also put your website, you can put your Instagram, you can put if you have TikTok or anything like that, any type of contact information that you may want the customer to know. So with this text box selected, I'm going to hit control D on my keyboard to duplicate it. And so for this example, I'm just going to put the Instagram shop name. In the left side panel, I'm going to go over to elements. And in the search bar, I'm going to type in Instagram. And under graphics, I'm going to click see all. So I typed in Instagram in that search bar and most of the ones that came up are pro images. So you may not want to use any of the pro images. So I'm just going to pick this one here. I'm going to make it smaller and move it right above the Instagram name. I'm going to duplicate the Instagram handle name, move it up above next to the little camera icon. I'm going to make it smaller and just type the word in Instagram so people know that that's the username for Instagram. And then if you have some other social media you want them to check out, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, anything like that, you can add it. You can also add your Etsy shop name or the Etsy shop link. You can add your own website. You can add an email if you want them to contact you. The choice is really up to you. And you can also add a link to this Instagram handle. So that way if they click on it, it'll take them directly to the Instagram page. And so here's what we have. And remember you can add as little or as much information as you want on the thank you page, as long as you have that link to the template that the customer bought. And then once you're done with your thank you page, you go to the upper right hand corner, click on share click on download and for the file type I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to choose PDF standard because it's best for documents and emailing and under select pages I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to click on current page once you do that hit done and then you click download so we're going to test and see what happens when you click on that link so I'm going to click on the design in Canva link and so here's what pops up when you click on that template link. A template created by KO Design was shared with you. Start designing now. Your customer will click on edit template, make the changes that they need, and then they'll download it. And like I mentioned in the other video, once you get that first template started and you have everything designed how you want it, you can just keep duplicating this page, adding a different image for the other template, and then the template link, and then download it and add it to Etsy. But this concludes the video on how to make a thank you page in Canva in order to sell Canva templates. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Remember to check the description box for the how to sell Canva templates tutorial in addition to any resources that may have been mentioned in the video. I will also have a link in the description if you decide to join the membership. And as always, thanks for watching.